hello today i will talk about some complications of diabetes mellitus so one of the complications of diabetes mellitus is diabetic retinopathy so, so from this word retinopathy disease of the retina due to diabetes and diabetes is increase in blood sugar level or glucose level in the body so due to this uh, diabetes or increased blood glucose this affects the retina the retina is part of the eye at the back of the eye like um, towards here which is close to the optic nerve and close to the brain so the retina the function is to um, it accommodates the light or it allows the light that pass through the pass through the lens to be interpreted or to to yeah to be interpreted by the cones and the rods which is sent to the brain so the cones and the rods are the ones that tell us what color and what what type of image what shape like that so these blood vessels are affected because the blood vessels in the eye has what we call parasites so these parasites help in circulation flow of blood through the vessels of the eye so when this uh, blood glucose level is high it affects it damages the parasites and when this damages the parasite it means there will be no or impaired flow of blood in the retina into the retina so or in the blood vessels that supply the blood uh, supply blood to the retina so when this happens the the arteries or the blood vessels try to compensate try to you know find a way out so why they are doing that they can have what we call the micro aneurysm so this happens even while there is no proliferative uh, um, there is nothing like that yet so because there are stages of this retinopathy we have the diabetes without the retinopathy we have the pre uh, proliferative and the, uh, the proliferative diabetic uh, retinopathy so in this diabetic diabetes without uh, retinopathy that is when the parasites are being damaged while in the pre proliferative this is when the aneurysm when the arteries or the blood vessels are trying to compensate but due to pressure they would they will form this balloon like nature and this balloon like nature will uh, in one way or the other get weak and they will burst and this will make the blood to leak out into the retinal tissues and that will affect the vision of the patient another way that this happens is this retin this retinal uh, blood vessels will become weak so when they become weak they the blood vessels because they become weak because they are overworking because that there is no normal blood flow the parasites are dead are damaged so they work harder to meet up with the demands of blood in the retina and when this happens the 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 walls of these vessels will become weak and they will even be permeable to the extent that um nutrients can actually or like something like proteins and lipids can actually um, leak out from the blood vessels and be and enter into the tissues of this retina and that will cause um, or, or deplete the function of the retina so why this is happening because of damage, damaged damaged uh, blood vessels or the parasite the body will try to form new blood vessels in the eye and this is done by what we call the VEGF uh, or va vascular endothelial um, growth factors they will form new blood vessels but these vessels are not strong enough to even meet up the needs of retina the blood volume and the blood uh, supply of the retina it will not meet up so definitely if care is not taken the patient will have what we call sudden blood vision or sudden blindness thank you